Okay. Mm. Meditation is not a all or nothing, uh, white or black experience. It's 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 life. Um, it's like you're you're looking at yourself in the microscope. You're learning about your experience, about uh, about yourself, and, and so it's not a matter of if you find some peaceful mental state in meditation, you're successful, and if you don't, you're, you're a failure. Um, because a lot of the obstructions and difficulties that come up in applying a meditation technique um, are actually great treasures because you're learning very important things and skills um, that you can make use of um, in your daily life. And one particular area is, is that of dealing with pain. We all have um, strategies for dealing with pain. Uh, most of them are unconscious that we've uh, um, adopted since we were children uh, and sometimes um, um, we, it's quite sobering to see how unsuccessful and um, even immature our, our, our reactions to pain are. So we're putting ourselves in a position where yes we're going to experience some physical discomfort um, at certain times during the sitting, sometimes more than others. and we want to really understand um, the nature of this unpleasantness uh, rather than saying I don't want this and just uh, get up straight away because um, in, in life when we get sick and we get old we're not going to have that option so let's learn about it now while we're still reasonably healthy and the uh, most important observation or insight I think that we, that we make um, is that pain is not a purely physical phenomena. It has um, a large uh, mental um, component or contribution um, and that we can, uh, we can see I think quite easily uh, even outside meditation if you're watching a, a movie and you can sit quite still or reasonably still for maybe two or three hours without feeling any uh, great discomfort because your mind is elsewhere whereas in meditation your, your mind is, is not elsewhere, you're right, you're right here. And what we can see is that the same kind of physical difficulty uh, can be experienced sometimes um, as tormenting and other times as a, a minor irritation. Um, and that is because of the mental reaction to the pain. Um, the reactions which are almost automatic and, and can vary from um, from day to day or vary from um, person to person but the kinds of things that are arising are, are um, aversion, aversion, fear, anxiety um, or a sense of people, why, why me, why, why nobody else, uh, why does everybody else seem to be sitting so, so peacefully, why do I have to deal with this every time I, I meditate. So there are all kinds of, of habitual and, and um, accumulated responses to physical discomfort that we're starting to illuminate through sitting with it. Now, um, briefly, there, there are two main ways of dealing with pain, and these correspond to the two kind of aspects of meditation, the, the tranquilizing, pacifying um, aspect and the, the, the insight, the, the looking, the observing, um, the penetrating, the, the nature of things. Um, <clears throat> so, with the with the uh, the first um, strategy, um, if if the pain is not particularly um, piercing and, and uh, uh, oppressive, it's sometimes just bringing the mind back to the meditation object uh, very patiently. Um, every time it strays to the the pain, can be successful. But uh, if the pain is a little bit more uh, intense, um, then we can practice breathing through the pain or developing loving kindness, that, um, that sense of kindness and love and affection and being a friend to the pain. So adopting a, a, a skillful, constructive attitude to the pain to um, remove or to replace the habitual negative uh, reaction to it. So you're using a positive emotion which can be um, allied to the breath and breathing in and breathing out as if through the area of pain with a very positive, accepting, kind, 
um, attitude. So that, that's uh, two possible um, techniques of the, the calming, um, the calming strategy. Now the, the other strategy is to, to say, okay, I'm going to leave my, my meditation object, the breath, the mantra, or, or whatever, and I'm going to take up pain as my object of meditation. Um, <coughs> and what uh, you want to be doing um, in this case is uh, to be um, looking particularly at the impermanence of the pain. Now there are, there are three uh, uh, aspects of this. First, the, the actual, the, the nature of, of the pain. Pain, when we start looking at it, it's not just this hard single mass. Um, we can see that there, there are uh, different kinds of pain. There are shooting pains, burning pains, aching pains, and so on. And the, and the nature of the pain um, is, uh, is changing and uh, seeing that change um, is a way of reducing the attachment and the, the negative emotions that have become um, uh, uh, become one and the same thing with, the, with this feeling in the, uh, the mind lacking awareness. Um, another, uh, the second aspect is the location of the pain. Again, we can see that it's not just one single point, it's moving around. And we can see how, uh, how um, the, the pain is, can be quite a complex uh, phenomena. And, then, and we can notice that if we, uh, we tighten up around the pain in reaction to it, then, then there can be secondary pains arising in other parts of the body as, as, as um, a result of that. Then, then the third aspect is the intensity of the pain. So if you take that... Uh, simple one to ten uh, kind of standard. And, uh, notice that um, the intensity of the pain is also uh, not stable. Often pain is coming in waves. Um, so looking at impermanence in terms of na the nature of the pain, a particular characteristic of the pain, the, uh, the location of the pain and the intensity of the pain, this is giving the mind work to do. Um, looking at the impermanence of the phenomena. Um, now this is um, revealing the truth uh, of what's going on um, more clearly to us, which is purifying in itself. But similarly with the calming technique, um, what's happening you know, on a psychological realm, if you like, is that you're, the mind can only have one interest at a time. So when you give your mind some, some work some insight work to do, it, it can't at the same time be worrying and feeling um, averse and, and, and uh, full of self-pity and, and so on. So there, there is also this re replacement um, process taking place. So the, um, I, I, w I would say in, uh, in, in conclusion that working with pain is not something that you want to be doing very often, particularly in early days as meditation, because your attitude to meditation and your enjoyment of meditation is probably the most important uh, condition for you being able to maintain a steady, um, regular meditation practice. If you start to uh, conceive of meditation as being a daily struggle with pain, um, before long you'll probably find some good reasons to cut down the sessions or to eliminate the sessions altogether because nobody wants to, um, to have to deal with that on such a, on such a regular basis. So um, every now and again um, uh, take on pain as a meditation object. It's something, it's an important part of meditation, a good skill to learn. But other times, it's particularly if your mind feels it's really starting to calm down and settle down, you've got some awareness there, then very mindfully change posture. Um, so you don't, it's not something that you have to do every time that you, you meet pain, but it's something that you should um, have some experience of dealing with.